today, we will see some misconceptions and simple mistakes related to the construction of a perpendicular and perpendicular bisectors on a line segment. Misconception 1. Look at the figure given below and find out which line segment is the perpendicular bisector of the other line segment. Some students fail to understand the concept of perpendicular bisectors properly. They believe that a perpendicular bisector is always vertical. With this understanding, they select option 2 as their answer which is incorrect. Since here an angle of 90 degrees is formed in line segment RS and line segment PQ and at the same time a line segment RS seems to divide line segment PQ into two equal parts. Thus, here line segment RS is the perpendicular bisector of the line segment PQ. Hence, option 1 is the correct answer. Line segment PQ is perpendicular to line segment RS but it doesn't divide the line segment RS into two equal parts. Therefore, we cannot call line segment PQ as the perpendicular bisector of line segment RS. Now let's understand some simple mistakes that are made while constructing a perpendicular and perpendicular bisectors. When students are asked to find the perpendicular bisector of a given line segment AB, they don't consider it important enough to take more than half the length of the line segment in the compass during the construction. Mistake 1. They take less than half the length of the line segment in the compass and place its pointed end on A and draw an arc on both sides of the line segment. Then, they place the pointed end of the compass on point B and attempt to draw an arc. But since less than half the length was taken in the compass, they fail to draw an arc intersecting the previously formed arc. Mistake 2. To draw an arc, they increase the length taken with the compass and construct an arc intersecting the previous formed arcs. With this, they get a perpendicular, but it is not the bisector of the line segment AB. The correct understanding is that we need to take more than half the length of the line segment with the compass to draw an arc from both points of the line segment without changing the compass setting. This gives the desired perpendicular bisector. Today, we saw some misconceptions and simple mistakes related to the construction of a perpendicular and perpendicular bisectors on a line segment.